our um, capabilities and I know that we're capable of doing so. And so I wanna put our name on the map. And then for academics, obviously I wanna get my degree and be able to use what I've learned to build myself up for the future and to make connections because connections are a very big thing for college gymnastics and getting jobs. So increase my connections and my cohort and my community. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Building your network. Um, now, a question that you're probably not used to hearing uh, on our podcast, we can't let our guests go unless we get this question. So okay. if you were coming up with a, a movie about, about you so far, in your young life so far, mm -hmm. what would be the title of that movie and what actress would play you and why? Okay, um, so I'm actually writing in the process of writing this book, and it's called Worth It, and it's the process of starting gymnastics and like just the journey of gymnastics and getting from starting from the beginning and getting to the collegiate level and um, working towards this one goal, which is college, and seeing if all those years of hard work were made, made it worth it. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think it would be called Worth It. And then actress, mm, I really, okay, I know, I think my, one of my favorite actresses is Meryl Streep. So if she was like young and, oh, yeah. <laughs> and if she was like able to play the role, I think Meryl Streep would be really good. But um, yeah. Awesome. Um, now, you know, with 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 sports, whether it's high school level, college level, pro level, we talk about the physicality. We also talk about, you know, the the administrative side. We're talking about the grades, but in between those lines, there's another battle that sometimes goes on between the ears. What is self-care and mental health to you as it pertains to a student athlete? Self-care and mental health is extremely important and it's important to prioritize it because I've learned you can get caught up in life so quickly and things just keep getting thrown at you and more things on your plate and your schedule gets really full really fast and it's very overwhelming this um, adjustment process from high school to college has been crazy and throwing athletics and academics and appointments and meetings on top of it has been really hard and being able to take time for myself and find things that will refill my tank. For me, it's going to church and finding small groups and going to FCA. Those things refill my tank and I make sure to prioritize those into my schedule because I know that if I didn't have those and I didn't have those refueling um, activities that I would be burnt out. And so to me, it's just very important to find those things that refuel your tank and give you the energy so you can do your best in, in the classroom and um, in your sport. And what, you know, what advice would you have to um, not just a, a college gymnast, but any college student athlete that was struggling on the, from the mental health side? I would say to reach out. Um, there's so many people that are here to support you, friends, teammates, coaches, trainers, um, sports psychologists. They're all here to help you. And just reaching out to somebody, asking them, um, maybe if they are, are having similar struggles and how they are feeling about things, just sh having someone to talk to is always a good option because it really gives you perspective and it no it helps you feel like you're not alone because you're not alone and everybody's going through the same thing and they, everyone struggles. So definitely reaching out is a big one and finding those support system um, people because they might, they may be surrounded by you, but if you don't know they're there, it's really hard to take advantage of them. So finding those resources is probably my biggest piece of advice. 
appreciate that advice. Um, you know, it's always one thing for um, a non-student athlete, you know, to kind of share some of this information, but it's it holds that much more weight when it's one.